In spite of the entreaties by the Lord to seek out the mysteries and the promises of great blessings in doing so, the church has rejected them from the beginning. None of the promised records have been received, which stands as testimony against the church. The members of the church have not sought for greater knowledge, nor asked to have the mysteries unfolded unto them. Joseph Smith repeatedly condemned the saints for their inability to receive more truth. In fact, as Brigham Young noted, Joseph doubted that anyone other than himself was capable of receiving everything the Lord had in store for the church. Because of the wickedness of the church, Joseph indicated that the heavens had been sealed up, and this was not merely a one-time event. This had happened often. Joseph Smith was not alone in his frustrations with the saints for the lack of belief and interest in the mysteries. Stiff-neckedness, as it is called, appears to be a long-standing problem for the saints in all dispensations. Nephi mourned because of the unbelief of his people and for their lack of interest in the deeper things of the gospel. Stiff-neckedness leads to an absence of knowledge, meaning the knowledge of the mysteries of God. In turn, the lack of knowledge leads to the captivity of hell. This was the state of affairs in Isaiah's time. When a people rejects knowledge, eventually they will be rejected of the Lord and be destroyed. Knowledge of the mysteries, as we have stated earlier, is a matter of life and death. The children of Israel of Hosea's time reached this unfortunate outcome. Joseph Smith believed that the primary obstacle to teaching the saints the deeper things of the gospel, the mysteries, were traditions. Every time a new doctrine came into conflict with a tradition, the saints flew to pieces like glass. It is the traditions what we call culture today, that inoculate people against receiving or learning anything new. As Tevye from the movie Fiddler on the Roof explained, tradition is what defines who we are. Tradition stabilizes our lives, keeping societal chaos in check. Anything new that threatens the traditional order of life threatens to destroy everything. <laughs>